CPAP. If you or someone you love has been told they need CPAP, this video is for you. Today, I'm going to tell you what exactly is CPAP? How does it work? Does it work? And is it uncomfortable as some people say? Let's break it down. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian. CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. It's basically a gentle air pump that keeps your airway open while you sleep. You put on a mask and the machine delivers a steady stream of air through your nose or through your nose and your mouth at the same time. And that pressure keeps your throat from collapsing. Without it, if you have obstructive sleep apnea, the soft tissue in your airway can flop shut like a straw being pinched. That's what causes the snoring, the gasping, and those scary pauses in your breathing. CPAP prevents all of that. No surgery, no medication, just physics. And here's how it works inside your body. Normally, air flows in and out without resistance. In sleep apnea, the airway collapses. CPAP acts like an invisible splint. It gently holds the airway open all night long. And the results are powerful. It stops snoring. It prevents your oxygen from dropping to those very low levels. It restores deep, restful sleep. And beyond better sleep, CPAP helps lower lower your blood pressure and long term will reduce both your stroke and your heart attack risk and protect memory, concentration, and there's good evidence that it helps with reducing dementia. So what does CPAP actually look like? Well, the machine is about the size of a lunchbox. It's quiet and actually quite discreet and they often come with a built-in humidifier. The mask comes in different styles. There are nasal pillows that sit just at the nostrils and aren't a full mask. There are nasal masks that just cover your nose. Nose. And then there are full face masks that cover both the nose and the mouth. And then there's a tube that connects the two, the lunchbox with the mask. And that's it. And sidebar, yes, you do need to clean it. It's like brushing your teeth. Quick rinse daily, deeper clean weekly. Now, let's tackle the questions that I hear all the time. Isn't it uncomfortable? Well, at first, maybe. But modern masks are really light and soft. And most people adjust within a couple of weeks. And if one type doesn't work, you just need to keep going. Try different kinds. The next question is, isn't CPAP really loud? Not anymore. The new machines are whisper quiet. And think about it. In fact, they're way quieter than snoring. How about, do I have to wear it forever? Unfortunately, that answer is probably yes. If your sleep apnea is moderate to severe, then you probably do need to wear it always. For some people, weight loss or surgery can reduce the need for CPAP, but CPAP really is the gold standard. How about, can I travel with it? Absolutely. They're very portable. Airlines don't actually count them as carry on and many of them run on battery packs for camping or long flights and the good news is once you do adjust to it you will stick with it and why because although it may take getting used to CPAP is often life-changing patients often say it's the first time I have felt rested in years I can focus again I feel like myself patients get new daytime alertness no more nodding off in meetings or worse when you're driving behind the wheel regular use of your CPAP gives you better better blood pressure and long-term lower risk heart attack and strokes because of the overall improved heart health. And very interestingly, long-term CPAP use actually helps with dementia because it helps not only with short-term memory, but mood and long-term memory. Why? Because your brain finally gets the oxygen it needs all night long. So what are the tips for success once you start CPAP? Well, here are the keys. Number one, mask fit matters. Don't give up until you find the right one. There's lots of different options. Options. Number two, use the humidifier. It prevents dry mouth and dry nose. Number three, start slow. Wear it while you're watching TV or reading before bed. You don't have to do it all at once. Number four, don't skip nights. Consistency trains your body to adapt. Use it even if you take naps. Number five, work with your doctor. Your machine will record data and if things aren't quite right, your provider can fine tune the settings to make it easier for you. Now let's say you just really can't tolerate CPAP. Well, there are alternatives. There are dentists that can give you special fitted oral appliances that will shift your jaw to try and prevent that obstructive sleep apnea. There are devices that are designed to keep you off your back at night when you're sleeping. There's also pretty aggressive surgery that removes tissue in the back of your throat. And there are special electronic devices, nerve stimulators that can be implanted to make you take bigger breaths. And the usual weight loss, cutting down alcohol, avoiding sedentary 
additives, all of those can help. But here's the truth. Nothing else works as consistently and as well as CPAP. And that's why it's still the first choice. And for millions of people, it's life changing. If you've been told you have sleep apnea, give CPAP a try. It's the gold standard. It can be a game changer. If this was helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments if you've tried CPAP and what your experience has been. I'd love to hear your stories.